Hey, hello there. Uh, I thought I'd do a really quick demo of this um, kind of staging level uh, for a game I'm involved in. Um, and this is just using meta sounds to trigger um, ambient events, um, so dynamic ambient events. Um, so in this, I'm just going to show you my the start of my rain system, uh, and I've used this level to. Um, and some trigger boxes to uh, to activate those events. Um, so yeah, let's start with. So this is just my ocean shoreline. Got two sounds: the far ocean sound and the closed shoreline. So you can hear the far one as you go away from it. It's still there a bit. And. <clears throat> We'll just turn this up. This is a knob, my rain intensity knob. So we'll just keep that up so we can hear it and I'll trigger the rain by going into this overlap box here. So I've got the rain fading in. And this uh, this knob actually crossfades between um, six different types of presets for the rain. So this is full rain here. <coughs> And here is the thunder. So I just activated the thunder. I have a knob that also adjusts the frequency of the thunder as well. Um, okay, so yeah, going inside, what do you do? Uh, you want it to still sound like it's raining outside, right? So I did have to place an actor here. Um, as you can hear, there's a bit of you know, splashing of the uh, the rain coming off of this. There's no rain, but you know, come, <laughs> when there is, uh, coming off of this uh, this side of this building here. Uh, as you can hear, the rain filters out um, and turn and the volume turns down when I enter the building. I'm doing that using a upwards line trace, um, detecting whether I'm, you know, I have some coverage from the rain or not. Um, and then, you know, you go close to here and you can hear <clears throat> just the wetness of the of it falling off the building there and you can still hear the rain outside. So it was a bit challenging. I had to figure out how to make a system that would, you know, just constantly play these weather elements, uh, whether you're inside or outside of these buildings. Just turn the rain off. It'll just fade out there. Um... Yeah, I have still a bit of rain sound here. This thing fades out a bit slower. Um, and yeah, so the next challenge I had was uh, directional wind. Um, I have used, in this case, um, a spring arm attached to the player with an attenuated wind gust sound. So it's like 3D wind that eventually we'll be able to set variables and move that wind around the player uh, depending on where the wind's coming from. Uh, and this is what it sounds like. So as you can hear, the gusts are coming from this direction. Also have using forward and uh, forward, backwards, and left and right line traces. I'm using. Uh, I'm activating activating a wind whistle when you get close to objects. So yeah, that's. That's the wind gust. I, th I thought this system was pretty cool and I'm just still improving on it, but you know, it's a little bit over exaggerated for now uh, for the sake of learning how to do that. Uh, uh, yeah, and that's that's just the start of my ambient system in this in this game. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's coming it's it's coming along. Thanks for watching.